It's a brand new day, I'm on my way The road leads out to the river's bay On hills of green, the wild deer roam The road will take me home Oh, why the road is long, the road will take me far Oh, why before I go to good health, plenty bar Hi there, I'm Bruce Campbell Celebrity chef and whiskey connoisseur. We're here at the Speyside Cooperage to talk about the Singleton Single Malt. It really is a great little number. Full bodied, rich, textured, and yet subtle. It's a balancing act, an art, if you will. into how the Singleton achieves that harmony. And I'll be showing you my own foolproof method that's twice as fast and ingeniously easy. Oh. I think you should put that, I think you should put it out. <laughs> yeah. Listen to it, it'll tell you when it's ready. OK, in order to understand the singleton, we need to understand the barrels. Sorry, casks, Gary, right? Now, to deliver the harmony of the balanced flavour, the singleton uses a two-cask method in that it's matured in sherry and bourbon casks. Now, Gary, as one expert to another, why use wood? The flavour from the wood is what is going to give you the flavour of your whiskey. Yeah, yeah, but why use wood at all? I mean, the singleton sits in the cask for, you know, 12 years. You lose an awful lot to evaporation, no? That's the angel's share. The angel's share? More like the angel's theft. And that's why I have the perfect answer. No evaporation, no need to import American oak casks, no rupture in your appendix when you're making them. That's how you achieve the singleton taste in no time at all and for considerably less. Go on, taste it. No. So I'm going to taste it. Let's have a little taste of this. <coughs> Come on, Gary. Don't be a wuss. My quest to uncover the best of Scotland continues. Next week, you can catch me at Nakando, the home of Jane B. Rare. This is your guide, guru, and self-confessed whiskey nut, Bruce Campbell, saying goodbye to next time. <laughs>